the big advance here is that we needed to see how RNA moves relative to a particular structure, in this case the nuclear pore. If you think of the DNA as being the blueprints for how to build the cell, the RNA are the guys that actually do the building. So RNA, we think, is the fundamental information transfer system in the cell. It's very clear that the role of messenger RNA is disrupted in many, many diseases. Uh, and we don't know how that disruption occurs uh, in, in quite a few of them. This study was published online uh, on September 15th in Nature. The major findings of, of this work are that uh, we can build an instrument that's capable of imaging two components in the cell to a resolution ten times greater than has previously been achieved. And the way we were able to do this is by inventing a new type of microscopy, which we call super registration. So in other words, how do you see a single nuclear pore and a single RNA and look at it with the kind of speed that's required so we have to have sensitive cameras, we had to have fast cameras, and then we needed one more component, and that was the cameras have to be aligned precisely so that we could see two colors. A lot of biological research is focused on two-color microscopy. Um, not much of it is being done on, with two-color in living cells. Most of it are done in fixed cells, but now we can apply this technology of two-color imaging in high resolution to living cells. And I think this is the next great leap that this technology provides. It allows us to see things happening in a cell in real time. Now we can follow things for a period of seconds or minutes in cells and see where molecules are going, what impediments they might have. And by molecules, I mean any molecules. It could be normal molecules, it could be mutant or diseased molecules, it could be in any cell, it could be in nerve cells, it could be in cancer cells, it could be in muscle cells or, or, or diseased cells for that matter, to see where blocks occur uh, that limit the movement of molecules. And those impediments might turn out to be important considerations in uh, how diseases are manifest at the cellular level, at the molecular level, which is, of course, ultimately where everything happens.